Hi everyone, good morning. Thank you for joining our webinar for this morning. Um, we are going to talk about students because you know if you've joined our previous webinars, you do know that we have webinars for employees, for professionals, and now uh, we also have student webinars. So for today, we are going to focus on the student side of the webinars with uh, our uh, item for today. And uh, by the way, if you've just joined and if you're new to Control C, my name is Jeff. I'm the, uh, how, how would I call it? I'm the, hmm, I'm the man behind uh, the company. And for today, our focus is on our students. And we're, uh, we are rather, we are going to talk about how we are um, going to support our students the choices that they make. So if you see on your screen, uh, you'll see our PowerPoint presentation. So let me have it ready. So today we're going to talk about the choices that you need to make as senior high school and college students. And um, today I will not be doing this alone. I will be talking and uh, talking to expert panelists, which will be giving us more insight on today's topic. So, panelists uh, for today, the other one is going to join us. She's experiencing some tech issues, but uh, the panelist that we have right now is, is a close friend. It's a dear friend because we do the same stuff, even uh, at the same age, a little bit later in life. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are still doing it. So, um, yeah, here is, uh, I'd like to ask everyone to welcome the Assistant Principal for Senior High School of Xavier School in San Juan, Fes Nebres Ledrido. Hi, Fes. Say hi to everyone. Hi. Good morning, Jeff, and good morning to all our audience uh, this morning. I am excited to share with you whatever it is that I can share about senior high school and about choosing the cur right career choice. Thanks, Fes. Our other panelist, I'm not sure if she's in, our other panelist is... Uh, the Director for Placement uh, for Far Eastern University, Michelle Mitch Bautista. Mitch, are you in? If she's not in, then you know, we'll hear from her later, definitely, as we uh, go about um, the webinar for today. Mitch, I met Mitch, um, just for everyone's, you know, how, how I get these people to join the webinars. I met Mitch, nakakilala kami ni Mitch with Toastmasters, because I'm a Toastmaster. If you're not familiar with Toastmasters, it's an international public speaking organization. Uh, a leadership organization found in more than 150 countries all over the world and yeah i'm a toastmaster she's a toastmasters and um yeah we can definitely um you know we, we definitely see that um uh, with her ability to talk um tess how about you could you tell everyone you know just for the sake of you know cloud and understanding and why I'm asking you to talk. Can you can you share to us your experience in the academy, what you do now and all of those stuff? Um, okay, so um, I'm Tesla Duido, as Jeff has, uh, Jeff has already introduced me. I have a 20-year um, experience in education, um, first as an English teacher in Xavier School and then eventually becoming the English department chair in the high school, and then it's already my seventh year as assistant principal. Um, I focus in the senior high school for academics this um, school year, but I also serve as the academic supervisor, streamlining the um, academics in the grade school of Savior in the high school and also in Savior School, New Valley. I also have a master's in education um, from the Ateneo de Manila University. Yeah, and para maniwala sila na may sa isa yung mga pinagsasasabi natin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. uh, and for everyone's benefit. Fit. Yes, uh, and for everyone's benefit, para rin maniwala kayo sa akin. Like this, I have also, I have, ex uh, I have an 18-year experience in both the formal and non-formal setup of education uh, i've been teaching high school and then i've right now i'm teaching college i've been teaching college for six years at the sofa design institute i'm a graduate of education from the university of santa tomas and a master of studies uh, for educational management majoring in administration and supervision from the pup graduate school um the this uh so what we're looking right now is uh me 
facilitating the discussion. Um, Mitch, are you there? I think Mitch said that she's here. Mitch, are you there? If you're, if you can hear me, can you talk? I don't think Mitch is there, but if you are there, you can you can actually um, unmute yourself and then um, take and and then talk. Okay. So let's see. Oh, so my PowerPoint screen is not full, right? Tess, my PowerPoint screen is not full. Am I right? What do you mean not full? Is it does it show is it full screen? The PowerPoint uh, no, screen? No, uh, no, it's not. It's not. Okay, it's not. So Sige, let me fix that. So but as we fix that, Tess, can you talk about the senior high school? Because it's something new right now. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are still wondering. I mean, I'm very sure as parents, you also have people that are still wondering wondering what is senior high school for what it's all about so could you tell us um you know what's it for why are we why the change in curriculum why are we having senior high school what's the purpose okay just a while give me a few um seconds to answer your question um Okay. So okay, I, it's actually an initiative from the Department of Education, um, which was um, already turned into, if I'm not mistaken, um, an act it has become, it's um, entitled the Enhanced Basic Education Act, which was approved years ago by the um, uh, Pinoy administration. And so in under the um, Department of Education, basic Enhanced Basic Education Act, all students have to go through our 13 year of education. In the past, it was only um, a Filipino student for basic education would have to take um, the basic ed for only 10 years. But as you know, we're one of the very, very few countries with only 10 left. So um, because of the initiative of deaf ed, everyone has to go through the 13 years. And what happens after the 13th year is that you can choose to pursue college or you can actually choose to work. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's, in so a way, it's streamlining. It's streamlining um, based on mm -hmm. the career and the path you want after high school. Mm, okay. So, Tess, is it it's safe to say that the senior high school program, no, as seen in the slide that we're, we're that I'm showing here, it's basically to help students be employed after. Because what what we're seeing right now are because the the mindset of parents right now is you need to have a college graduate. To you know, to have a good life. Tama ko right? Correct. Ano yung thinking Correct. Ng parents natin? Correct. So the Correct. goal of um, senior high school is to really make the kids employable after graduation. Yes, because Jeff, um, what's interesting here is in the Philippines, um, in our context, we have this impression or um, perception that. For you, like what you said, for you to have a good life, you have to go through college. But it's not necessarily true. Okay, for all, for all, mm. even for other countries like in the United States, a lot of them just graduate high school and already start working, and they do have a good life. Mm. So this actually mm. um, becomes um, this this particular education structure um, makes work accessible to everyone. So you don't have to already. I mean, college is not the only pathway towards a good future. No, oh, because we are, unfortunately, whether we like it or not, and I think you will agree with me, the education system that we have here is not mat as mature as other countries. Yes. Um, we, we don't have an education system that's very mature para the kids uh, can consider, or at least the parents, because the kids right now, they're okay. Eh. Actually, it's not going to happen if you do But the parents are actually the biggest factor because the thinking of parents is still linear yes you do elementary high school or before elementary meron pang prep meron pang kinder elementary high school Correct. senior high school college Correct. and then from college kung ano yung tinapos mo yun dapat yung trabaho mo so very linear so the senior yes. high school does allows you to prepare initially for college, am I right? Correct, yes. But now, uh, um, because uh, of the tracking in grades 11 and 12, you can choose a vocational track, as we know. You can choose the academic track if you want to pursue college, or you can pursue the arts and sports. 
as well. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, right, diba yung tracks, we have your humes, which is the humanities. You have your STEM, which is science, technology. Ay, sa, tama. Science, technology, yes, technology. mathematics. Yes. ABM, academics, yes. Uh, accounting and business Accounting and business management. management. Um, and then you have sports, the central right? academic strand, the GAS. Yes, uh, the GAS. Mm -hmm. And then, like, for example, for us in SOFA, we have a design track. Mm -hmm. And then I know there, there is a tech voc track, right? There's yes, a there's a tech voc track. track. As well, yes, you're correct. Okay, so it allows. But I, I think for the benefit of the college students that will be listening to us, that is, or that are listening to us and will be listening to the recording mm -hmm. of this webinar, I think we need to make one thing clear. Kasi may umikot na chismis eh. What will happen? Kailangan ba nilang matapos yung college nila or babalik sila ng senior high school? May ganong fear eh na nag-start from an ad of mm -hmm. a school. Okay. It's na time for us to correct that. Tama ba yung, okay. yung, yung assumption na? Kasi ang alam kong rule for senior high school is that if you do not enroll for the school year 2018, mm -hmm. you will have to go back to senior high school because 2018 is full implementation na of the senior high school system. Tama ba ako yung implement, implementing rules and regulations? 2018 is now, right? 2018. Next year. Uh, next year. So if uh -oh. by 2018, yeah, you all have to go through senior high school. Yes. Uh -oh. So uh -oh. if they don't enroll in college for 2018, so for example, nag-LOA sila or uh, they choose to take a break from college ng 2018, they will have to go back to senior high school, irrespective kung anong level na sila sa college. Ganun ba yung rule? Kasi umikot ah, yan eh. Grumaduate ba sila ng high school? Hindi. Grumaduate ka sila ng high school, nasa college na sila. Ah, okay. Tapos no. they, 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 no. they don't enroll. Okay, hindi yon. Okay, good. Hindi. They can take a gap year. So, for example, okay, if they, they graduate... they can take a gap year. Yeah, they can take a gap year. Mm -hmm. Uh, important. So as long as they finish. Yes. As long as they finish senior high school, then that's okay. They can take a gap year and then, of course, they can apply to universities. But they have to go through the usual process of application in the universities. And mm. each university will have um, different sets of requirements. How about, let's say, ito nga, you're graduate ka na ng high school, but the old system, walang senior high school. You graduate high school, tapos... Nasa college ka na, but 2018, you decide hindi ka mag -e enroll or mag -e loa ka ng 2018 term. Okay. May rule ba na mag apply doon? Wala. Nababalik sila ng senior no. high school? No, they don't have to okay. because um, they're already considered by DepEd as graduates, eh, as high school graduates. So they don't, otherwise, if they have to go back, they'll get two diplomas. So for as long as you've already Ayun. gotten that diploma, then you're a high school graduate, then you can proceed to college. Okay, mm -hmm. good. So that's the, that's the, okay, so that's the, ano, ha, for the college students that are listening. Kasi if you remember, there was an ad mm -hmm. that came out. I won't say from what school, but they were promoting their online university saying that they have to finish college by 2018 or else they will have to go back to senior high school. Mm -hmm. Which kind of confused me kasi mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they're already college, high, high school graduates. Graduates, mm -mm. yeah. So parang it does not make sense to go back yes. to senior high school. Yes, that's true. Kung may diploma ka na. Mm -mm. Okay, good. So college students, ayan, hindi na, wag na kayo masyadong kabahan kasi mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> hindi siya, hindi na kayo tatanggapin kasi may diploma na kayo. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Take a look test at your experience both senior high school and college wise on uh factors na kung saan, paano namimili ang isang estudyante ng college course. Let's talk about this for college and then to senior high. Do like, you, you think meron ng up, na, 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 pumasok na to sa pamimili ng track ng senior high? Let's talk about this one by one. So definitely peer pressure. Yes, um, yes, no, definitely. Una yan, no? mm -hmm, na, mm -hmm. Wait, tara, mag-accounting mag tayo kasi mag-accounting yung buong barkada, no? Correct, correct. I mean, I mean Kasi, Jeff, what, we have, have, mm -hmm. what we have to understand Sige, here is these are um, teenagers, okay, teenagers who are, okay. I'm talking about senior high school, teenagers who are required to choose already um, some sort of a career path as early as 16 and 17. And as you know, teenagers, okay. it's peer pressure is still very strong among them. So definitely it's true what you're saying na malaki talaga na factor yung peer pressure in choosing a course, whether in college or in senior high school. 
Mm-hmm. So definitely, no? lalo na even for college, I think you'll agree mm-hmm. with me, na dati, from freshman ng college is 16, 17. So, bagaw, you have no idea pa talaga kung ano yeah. yung gagawin mo. Correct. So, paano ka mamimili ng course kung saan talagang ide-dedicate mo yung apat na taon ng buhay mo and not only the four years but even the years after. So, yun yung challenge eh. I mean, ito siyempre madadala at madadala ka talaga ng kaibigan, di ba? Right, right. Um, for me, what's crucial is there should be a balance of your interest. So, kasi you have to be interested in whatever it is that you're going to be pursuing because you ha- it has to sustain you for the next two to four years, right? So, interest mm-hmm. is the first one. And then second is you have to be aware of your strengths and your weaknesses and your skills. So, like what I always tell our students, there are some who really want to pursue engineering or the STEM strand, but they've been getting Ds and Fs in math or in physics. So, mm-hmm. even if mm-hmm. the spirit is strong, okay, Um, they also have certain limo- limitations, di ba? So parang they have to be aware of that. Oo. Because what will happen is you're also kind of doing yourself to failure. But, syempre, you don't want to kill their spirit. If they are a hardworking, then go ahead. But there's that risk. Oh, no, there is always that risk. Lalo na if you are joining just because your classmates are joining yes. or your friends are joining. Mm-mm. You mentioned interest, so interest is very important. Dito yung pangatlo, dito tayo, dito um, ako medyo definitely nag agree especially in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Napakalaking bagay ng approval ng parents mo kasi at the end of the day, iisipin mo sila yung magbabayad ng four years. Correct. Eh. In, mm. Alam mo, Jeff, um, in my experience um, talking to senior high school parents, I've encountered a lot of cases where I have to mediate between a parent and a student because the parent want to, the parents want the student or to pursue this, but the son wants otherwise. For example, mm. let's talk about the arts. A mm. student wants to, for example, take um, something along the line of the arts, but the parents don't find it very practical. Mm-hmm. Yon. So, so ang hirap kasi, um, you know, at the end of the day, the student is a minor, okay? And of course, um, it's as you said, practicality-wise, it's the parents who still pay for the tuition. So in that particular case, um, again, okay. they have to talk about it and they have to strike a balance between what the son wants and also what they want, what they want. But ultimately, mm-hmm. I think it should be what the the student would want, kasi siya mag aaral. Uh-huh. Mm. And later we'll talk about that in depth kasi okay. in the con- in the country that we have dito sa Philippines malaking bagay pa rin talaga as I said um the education system is not mature and a lot well, mm. let's be honest a lot of the yeah. parents don't act like parents as well <laughs> so, Okay yeah correct uh, no, parang kasi I know of some parents na they live out their dreams uh, vicariously towards their kids So, kumbaga, kung ano yung pangarap nila, pinapasa yeah. sa bata. Exactly, yung mga business, exactly. Vica- living vicariously, yung mga, correct. Yung mga pangarap oh, yung nila, mga... gusto nila matupad through their kids. Correct. Or yung mga, yung longevity ng business, ipinipilit sa bata. So, we'll talk about the parents later in more, de- in more yes, detail. Yes, okay. Um, okay. Napag-usap, nabanggit din dito, kasi I, I based it on a study. No, on a study that was done for the Philippines. Now, nag-factor din sa consideration was um, yung reputation ng school. Mm-hmm. Does it really matter for students? Uh, um, kung, rep- kung paano sila mag-imili ng track? Kasi, kunyari, for example, sa sofa kasi wala kaming ibang track kung di-design. Right, right, I'm very right. sure sa inyo wala kayong track na design. So, yes. let's say, magmamatter ba yon sa isang studyante kung ano yung reputation ng school na papasukin nila? Um, depends on the kind of students, actually, because, for example, it for me, it will matter if their choice is very much specialized. For example, in the case of arts, syempre, if a student wants to pursue mm. arts, he can't just go to any other school. He has to pursue, for example, gusto niya, um, let's say, SOFA or pupunta siya sa, nas- sa Makiling. Diba? Kasi not all, mm. not all schools offer the arts program. And there are some naman that offer sports. But in general, I think um, what's more crucial for them is um, not so much only the, um, the the choice of school, not so much the reputation, but also the cost and the proximity. Okay? Parang, parang halo-halo na siya. Halo-halo na siya. Reputation, yes, but 
only to a certain extent, I would think. There are some, I would say, na yung mga very driven kids and who want to go, let's say, to Ateneo mm. and UP. Siyempre, they choose the really uh, more rigorous schools. Okay? Mm -hmm. But that's not for I'm the sure general, I think. Yeah, I think Mitch is in. Hi, Mitch. Could you say hi to everyone if you can hear me? Yeah, great. Hi, Mitch. It's okay. It's okay. Technical issues. <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, it's okay. We just started. Um. Yeah. Before we continue, uh, yes. This is uh, everyone. If you're listening, this is Mitch Bautista, the director for placement um, at FEU. So, Mitch, could you tell them lang a, a little bit about your background and, you know, alam mo naman, para, lang, mani, para maniwala sila sa sinasabi natin. Ganon. And, hindi man alam ng lahat, si Mitch ay isang Toastmaster. At hindi lang basta-basta Toastmaster. Maniwala ka, Tess, si Mitch ay humorous speech champion. <laughs> wow! 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 Jeff! <laughs> At nalalaban na naman tayong dalawa next week. Kaya wala ako sa... Okay. Kaya wala ako sa Sabado, Tess. Lalaban okay. na naman kami ng okay. speech para okay. umabot kami ng, na ng nationals. <laughs> wow! Congratulations! <laughs> or if they don't want to join Toastmasters, Tess, they could join us in Capoeira. <laughs> yes, of course! Why not? Either Capoeira or Toastmasters or both. Because I do both. Just like Jeff. Yes. Are you sure? You oh, should look at us. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sige, let's go back to the issue at hand. Mamaya tayo mag-promote. Baka mamaya awain tayo ng mga bata. <laughs> so, Mitch, we were talking about, we were talking about, um, na students use when choosing their college course. And we're already at yung school's reputation, travel and then cost to you looking at the list of six na nandito Mitch except for parents approval because we're going to talk about that later in depth ano sa you dito yung tingin mo yung pinakamalaking factor na kino-consider ng mga bata when it comes to college to choosing their college course yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yung kung ano talaga yung pinagpupuntahan ng mga bata. And I think you'll agree with me, Tess and Mitch, that when you go for things that are popular, that's very dangerous. Yes. It's a very dangerous display. What do you think, Tess? Because popularity fades, eh. Diba? Yeah, popularity fades. And, um, for example, if if it's not really what you want, um, then mm. it will be hard to sustain. Kasi pag nawala na yung popularity, pag nawala na yung friends mo, you're left alone. Parang, and you really didn't want it. In, I mean, diba, it didn't really come for me. Then it's going to be hard to sustain the two or four years of, mm. of education. Mm. Travel and cost are very natural. Kasi syempre, mahirap naman din talagang pumasok sa isang eskwela na unang-una wala sa budget mo. Pangalawa, malayo sa'yo. So, talagang challenge. Uh, again, I'm sorry for everyone. Mitch is out na naman. Again, welcome to the Philippines. Ganun talaga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, before, because I, I have siblings, I live we, we I lived in Fairview. My siblings went to UST. Um, some of mm. my siblings went to UST, and I even have a sister who went to Manila Science. So that's 
really far from Fairview, 20 or oh. 25 kilometers. But because mm. of the traffic then, they didn't mind going far. Okay? No, kasi hindi uh, mahirap eh. Yeah, but now, given the traffic, really, proximity plays a very important role. Kasi that's quality of life. And you don't... You, if you don't want to come home feeling stressed already because you don't have time to study just because you spend so much time in traffic. Mm, yung totoo yun, no? Mm. Yung, yung, yung layo. Yeah. Ng, ano. But, kasi right now, kung, kasi yung, kung panahon natin, yung traffic is manageable. Ngayon kasi talagang hindi eh. Hindi talaga yes. manageable yung traffic yes. eh. Unless you have your own car. But even sometimes, if you have your own transportation, mm-hmm. it adds up the cost eh. So, right. Talagang the distance na rin and the cost are a factor to consider. Right. Now, Tess, let's talk about the parents. Kasi mm-hmm. whether we like it or not, mm-hmm. or whether we like it or like it better, the parents in the Philippines have a major say in the education or the track of their kids. Napakalaking, how do you say it, controlling factor ng magulang mm-hmm. yes. sa, sa ano ng bata, di ba? Parang ang laki masyado. Um, <laughs> So let's go let's go over this was this was in the Philippine Star so kumbaga nagtanong sila na should parents have a say in the decision of their children so ito yung varied responses mm-hmm. pinili ko na lang kasi medyo hindi mm-hmm. naman lahat mag apply let's yeah. talk about this one at one by one and then the parents that will be listening to this and there are children so later let's talk about para ba ito yung address ng both ng from the side of the parent and from the side of the kids kasi ang hirap ang hirap niyang Kung kware ikaw yung bata, syempre, hindi mo naman din makokontra ng makokontra yung parent, no? So, let's talk mm-hmm. about the first one. Um, ikaw, Tess, ikaw na, may, mag, may high school ka na eh, malapit ka na eh, dito eh. Sabi mm-hmm. dito, yung pinakamaraming responses na nakuha ng article is that the parents still know best. So, if you look at the response, sabi, they are clueless about the real world outside high school life. Most of the time, we parents know best. Yes. In the time of the millennial, do you think this still holds true? Na mas um, pa rin ang magulang? Um, the parents would like to believe that they still know best. Okay? Because yes, of course, they're more, ex- they're more experienced and they've been through life longer than the, um, than the millennials or the students now. So in the dynamics between the parents and the students, at least in my context, it's still it's still very true that the parents still feel that they know best and therefore they really have a strong say in what their sons or their um daughters should take in college mm-hmm. 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 i agree with do you think it's true yes i agree with uh, what tess mentioned because you know parents would always say i've been there so i mm-hmm. should know better and in the first place i'm going to pay the bill <laughs> So yeah. I, I would like to think that I know best. But of course, mm-hmm. we still have to take into consideration the interests of the kids, Deba, because they have to make their own decision. Mm, but we still true. just have to guide them, Deba, on the decision that we're going to make. Mm-hmm. That's true. Uh, also, I, may, I may digress a bit from the both of you. I think you'll agree then with me. Because with this generation, with the generation of millennials, sometimes what we experienced or what we were taught Iba na siya, no? I think you experienced that with the kids that you teach right now na parang, oh my God, ano bang gagawin ko rito sa mga bata? Hindi naman kami ganito nung bata kami. Mm-hmm. So parang at, at, at some point, yeah. you're at a loss as a parent as well. So, yeah. yung idea to me that I think we'll all, we're all in agreement that you know, the parents still know best. I think that's still true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Parents should at least have some leeway na right. na this is a new generation. This is an yes. entirely... This is an entirely new mm. culture and mindset. Right. right. They, they have to learn. Ito yung second. Nabanggit to ni Mitch. Uh, eh. Wait, Jeff. Uh, no, dun lang sa first, I'd just like to add to what you said. I don't know also if it's cultural. Like, because in the Philippines, mm. you know how, how families work, diba? Parang they're very close to so, their parents. So. Um, in the Western countries, I'm not sure if this will be the same. Maybe for the students or the parents. For the parents yeah, oh. Pero parang sa atin, talagang whatever the parents say, parang it's really important. Hindi. Yeah, it's really important. Yeah. Uh, kasi, yeah. kasi napanggit na nga natin kanina, no, the, the education system that we have here, and I think Mitch and, and Tess will agree with me, is 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 ano, is ano not mature. And I know, tatlo tayo, nag-grad school na tayo. Even in the grad school, sometimes hindi pa rin mature yung education yes. system. Uh, correct. Masters na yun, na. Uh-uh. <laughs> masters mm-hmm. na yun. So mm-hmm. parang sa master's degree nga, hindi pa siya mature. So parang, 
But Jeff, let's so let's qualify beast. with um mature. What do we mean by mature? Okay. Okay, so sa akin kasi, like for example, di ba, when in the, in the US or in the UK, and di ba, if you want to get a master's degree, you can get that in a year. Pupunta ka lang sa klase mo, there are tests that you need to take. If you pass the tests, hindi mo na kailangan umattend ng lecture. Kaya mo nang tapusin right. yung buong master's degree in one year. Right. Kung baga, yung, yung self-learning yeah. nandun. So hindi we prepare... Katulad, Right. Oo. Kasi dito sa atin, ano pa rin eh, I mean, di ba, the three of us will agree, malaki pa rin bagay ang spoon feeding. Yes. A very traditional. It's so very traditional. Um, That's true. Whereas the others, like for example, in universities in abroad, um, they even credit your yeah. life experience or your work experience. So in a, in a sense, they're more progressive yes. um, education-wise. Oh, they allow learning for life experience. Yeah. Like, Ako nga, when I hear, and I think Mitchell agree with me teaching in college, ako naiinis ako pag nakakaka, sorry for the students that are listening, naiinis ako pag sinasabi ng bata na ito nag, hindi naman nagtuturo in college because in college you say you're not really there to teach eh. You're there to guide. And they're mm-hmm. supposed to learn by themselves mm-hmm. actually which mm-hmm. is the guidance. So yun yung, yung pinapoint out ko na hindi pa mature yung educational mm-hmm. system okay. natin which leads to which leads to the family as well kasi like uh, i mean it's it's it has its it's a two edged double edged sword then uh, we are we have very close family ties it's okay because there's yeah. a very strong support system mm-hmm. but it's bad because independence is something that we can't develop mm-hmm. within the within the kids kasi we were very tied up and in that instance let's talk about yung second mm-hmm. ikaw test because dahil ba ikaw eh, pwede ba tong gamitin ng bata ng parent which one Kasi is ako it? nagbabayad eh. Yung number two. Oh, yung, oh, yung, yung, ginamit, yeah. ginamit na yan oh, sa atin eh. Yes. Ginamit na yan sa atin, di ba? Remember yes. nung... Pag, yes. Ito, Mitch, alam mo yan. Di ba? Pag gumagawa tayo ng kasalbahian, ang sinasabi sa atin ng mga nanay natin, hanggat nandito kayo sa bahay ko, kinakain ang pagkain ko, right. ginagamit ang pera ko, susunod kayo sa akin. Is yes. that the right way to, lever- to leverage um, finances to take at least some form of control with the kids' decision, Tess? Your, your um, thoughts? Of course, I would say that um, it's not the best way because I think there should be always some form of compromise. But like I've had classmates in the past whose application form in a college, it's the parents who signed. So it's the parents who chose. Like, my, mm-hmm. oh, ganun siya. I mean, may mga ganong classing dynamics among family members in choosing um, uh, what college course to take. But... I think kasi if that's going to be the situation, again, initially it will work. So sabi nung, nung, nung mom na, o oh, sige, sabi nung anak na, okay, papayag ako na ito yung kukunin ko. Pero feeling ko pagdating sa college, mag-shift yan. ba? Mm, definitely. Yung, yun yung sinasabi sa college. Eh. Madaling makapasok, mahirap magtagal. Mm-mm. Kasi nga, okay. kung hindi naman yun yung gusto mo, pinilit ka lang ng magulang mo, mahirap siya. You know, I, I, my best friend works as um, uh, an HR um, head for Shell in the past. And she would tell me that during the interviews, she would ask, why did you choose this course? Um, and, mm-hmm. and one of the things that she would notice is that when, for example, um, an applicant would say that I was just forced to take that because my mom wanted it or because there's no other choice, she wouldn't accept that particular person. So that's one disqualifier for her in accepting um accepting applicants in the in the company. Mm. No. Pero it's a truth eh, di ba, Tess, which it's a truth na the students also have to understand that the cost of education in the Philippines from senior high school to college is not that cheap. Yeah. Mga kailangan maintindihan din yun ng kahit siya ng bata. Yeah, especially if you're talking about quality education. It's not cheap. It doesn't come cheap in the Philippines. Uh, I think Mitch I think Mitch got lost again. Uh, well, well, again, as I always say in our webinars, welcome to the Philippines. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Internet connection. Baka globe siya. <laughs> Ay, baka globe. <laughs> <laughs> baka globe siya. Um, so, how should the parents then... Globe daw siya, she said. <laughs> okay. So, how, how, how should the parents then approach this test or niche if you're there? 
paano ba dapat yung tamang approach using cost as a reason to have a certain say in the college student? Tama ba yung approach na, ay, ako nagbabayad ng ano mo, ha? Wala kang choice. Ganun ba dapat yung approach? Um, Para maintindihan din ng bata? Hindi, feeling ko kasi, the, um, kailangan niya ipaintindi sa anak na, um, na siya ay nagbabayad pero hindi na dahil ako eto dapat ang gawin mo so hindi don't use that as the only um as an authority as the reason for um asserting what you want but it's only one of the factors that has to be considered parang ganon kumbaga kasi kung yun lang hmm. parang um okay pera lang pala eh di ba parang it 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 reduces the conversation to just money and nawawala na yung consideration about how the son would feel about his interest so if i were the parent i would say that yes okay to be very practical about it i'm the one paying but i would like to listen to also how you feel about these things etc so it should be a two way conversation but i would say i would if, if that's re, if that really matters um to the parent then pwede naman yang sabihin but i guess in it's the manner of how you say it eh. hi jeff can you hear me mm-hmm. yeah 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 go ahead mitch how about you <laughs> all right Paano dapat yung approach i mean for me kasi if i may just go back kasi yung sinasabi natin na i'm paying for it so ako dapat masusunod tama ba did i get mm-hmm. it correct uh-huh. um okay, correct. parents that should be start of um part of a discipline for the kids Because for me, if I were the one paying for your tuition, I could guide you. Okay, you choose which college, uh, which school you like. You choose which field you'd like to get into. But make sure that that is what you're going to finish. Because it's we have to make mm-hmm. them understand that hindi sila pwedeng mag shift from one course to another. Basta basta. Basta basta because meron tayong time, effort, and money na involved doon. And um, mm-hmm. we always, um, before we accept, for example, there's a transfer coming from another program, we would always do an interview and require them to have an exit interview from the college that they went into. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. Because we want to find out. Um, based on figures, they said, number one, why they shift would be failing grades. Mm-hmm. Pangalawa. Uh, okay. Yeah, pangalawa uh, would be peer pressure. Ay, no, 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 not peer pressure, but the teachers, they had a problem with their professors. Pangatlo, okay. they just wanted to satisfy their parents' ano, uh, their parents' whims. Kasi nga siguro, they, their parents allowed yeah. them to get into that that course. Ayaw naman nila. So ngayon, they just realized, okay, sige na, pagbibigyan ko ng parents ko. But then again, mm. the parents, lalo na dito sa Philippines nga, na ang education is a family affair. Uh, a family affair. We are just here to guide them and mm-hmm. tell them as part of the discipline, hindi mm-hmm. pwedeng basta-basa ka nalang mag-shift yeah, from one course correct. to another. Kasi sayang kasi din naman yung effort mo, sayang mm-hmm. yung perang in-invest natin. Kasi hindi biro ang everyday that mm-hmm. you have this transportation cost. You have to wake up every day and yeah, you will, you know, cook food for you. Kasi nga, di ba, that's ano. And then another one, yung mga projects mo na ginawa on the first semester, ano, mababali mo, lalang yung mga courses mo before, and then you're shifting to another course. Eh, paano kung isipin pa ng bata, okay, I'm gonna shift to another school na naman, so that's another ex- entrance examination, di ba? That's really mm. costly. I think yun yung best approach. Yung ipaintindi mo sa kanila that this is some form of investment. Yeah, uh, yes, yes. Y- parang you don't, you, you want to send a message that we can't waste money. We're not supposed to waste exactly. money. And therefore, you have to make the most out of this, this education that I'm providing mm. for you. Because parents, nga, I mean, especially Filipino parents, ano eh, they'll work their asses off just to make sure you get a good education. Tama, yeah. That's true. Uh, uh, I think yun yung best approach. Rather than, than just saying na, hoy, ako nagbabayan. Mm. Uh, uh, I think, uh, to uh, me, that's very authoritarian. Mm. I think for yes. parents that are listening, and I, I, for parents that are listening to this webinar, I think it's mo- the most important thing is to make your kids understand that this, an, this is an investment for both of you. You, you invest your Mm-mm. money, the kids invest their time for their future. So mm-hmm. I think this is also a good exercise in uh, problem solving and decision making na hindi ako po pwedeng mag-decision, di ba? I mean, Mitch, alam natin mm-hmm. yan, mga bata ngayon sa college kung makapag-decision ura-urada without right. thinking of ano without Being thinking of no oh, mm-hmm. without thinking of the consequences of their action like one example there was someone that messaged me na her teammate in in thesis will not 
attend the midterm presentations kasi magbi-beach mm-hmm. lang sila. Magbi-beach trip daw siya. Uh, kasi what? ang grade, uh, ka, kasi ang grade nila doon is a group grade. Ko ano ang grade ng isa grade ng lahat because the 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 your your your, your grade will only be as strong as your weakest link. So may mm-hmm. may idea, may sense of accountability for everyone. Uh-huh. Yeah. So since pare-pareho yung grade itong isa sabi niya magbi-beach trip na lang ako. So parang ako as a professor and as I mean as a person na lang. Parang, oh my god, you can let go of that responsibility ng ganun-ganun na lang. Mm-hmm. Because it's a group grade. So I think yung ganitong pag-uusap at the start, I think test no this would be good at the start of senior high school. Yeah. Kasi sa senior high school ba pwede ba silang mag-shift ng track? Um as much you know as much as possible no they shouldn't oo kasi malaki mm-hmm. implications noon eh like you can mm-hmm. be delayed ganyan mag ano ka extra subject oh kasi but, habol yeah. mo yung academic subjects ng ibang track right eh. so so mm-hmm. actually with the senior high school now with the structure now parang na move yung decision making earlier so kumaga well, there's yeah, a decision making that happens for the course yes but also even for the strand that you will choose mm-hmm. so maaga na yung conversation between the parent and the student and I, I agree that it should happen earlier para naiintindihan ng bata yung uh, yung bigat ng desisyon nila. Para yung, yeah. yung, yung, yung mga desisyon na ganun, hindi basta-basta binibitawan. Kasi parang ako nagulat na parang, oh my God, talagang hindi ka mag a ng midterms ko, mag beach trip ka kasi group grade naman. Parang, totoo. Yeah. Yeah. Binagsak mo ba? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> pa next week pa malalaman. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Mapasok siya. Update ko kayo. <laughs> <laughs> So, yung third, ito, at least, no, makikita natin sa naging, dis- sa naging results ng survey, may mga naniniwala naman that there should be compromise. Mm-hmm. Ang tanong ko, Tres, how much is compromise? Hanggang saan ba dapat yung kompromiso? Kasi, as a parent, ah, ano ba, yan, Tres and Mitch, hanggang saan ba dapat yung control ko as a parent with the choices specifically of the academic track and mm-hmm. the course that a child makes? Hanggang saan dapat yung yung kompromiso dapat hanggang saan siya umaabot test ako kasi it depends on your parenting style honestly because for me um to be honest whatever my son would want and i think he's very passionate about it i will feel that because he likes it a lot he will excel in it so i would i would um i would actually encourage him to pursue what he wants but it's not true for all parents eh. like you mm-hmm. said there are some parents who want to be practical and choose for example ayoko ng arts walang pera dyan, kailangan kang mag-medicine or mag-engineering. And second, may mga parents ka, like what you said a while ago, who, who are living their lives vicariously through their kid. It's na, kasi gusto ko nun maging doktor, eh hindi ko nagawa sa'yo na lang. So, I, I'm not sure really how to answer your question because um, it would also depend on the kind of parent you are and the kind of relationship you have with your kid. Okay? But for me, I just, I just believe that if a son really, really, if a student really, really wants something, he will tend to excel in it because he's interested in that. And for as long as he's um, doing well in that, like, for example, kung magaling talaga siya science and he likes it, then okay to pursue that. Or arts, kung magaling siya doon, like to pursue it, then go ahead. For, How about you, Mitch? Ang ganda saan dapat umaabot? Ako, dyan papasok ang partnership na tinatawag natin between the student, the parents, and the school. Kasi... Um, marami kasing bagay. Ang parents, when they send their students to school, 80% of their time, wala naman sila dun eh. Mm-hmm. ba? Most yeah. of the time of the students, nandun sa school, ang nakakasalamuhan nila, kung hindi yung kaklase nila, would be their professors. Mm-hmm. Now, we have to make sure that these kids, tama rin si Tess, when she said na, it depends on what type of a parent you are and what's your relationship with your with your child. Um, pero let's since we invested already as a parents to school, then let's maximize what school has to offer for us mm-hmm. parents and kids. Because, mm-hmm. for example, if a child is having problems to school, sino mm-hmm. ang pwedeng tumulong? Dapat alam natin yon. So, mm-hmm. particularly for the university, like if a kid is trying to, or if a student is trying to transfer, ina alam mo yon bakit siya magshift? May problem mm-hmm. ba siya sa right. sa classmates niya? May classmates may problem ba siya sa professors niya? Kasi minsan na offend ng professor, de ba? Hindi naman sinasa siya. So, yun yung mga bagay na hindi naman alam ng mga parents. That's why the parents have to be involved in the um, not just in the student but also in the school. 
Not mm-hmm. because you're being like Annabel Rama, being handsome. Sorry about that, di ba? But you know, <laughs> since you invested in it, kailangan mo talagang pumasok doon, eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. And then, you try to, you have to um, talk to, let's say, the the program heads or kung sino yung mga available for guidance and counseling yeah. that may yeah. be able to help um, help, our, help our kids push through with the careers that they want. Right. Kasi hindi basta-basta, as I said, hindi basta-basta magpaaral sa college. And as much as possible, I want to be involved kung ano ang ginagawa ng anak ko at kung ano nagiging problem niya at kung ano man ang mga successes niya sa school. Kasi right. it should be a tripartite. It should be an, an, a, a partnership between three. Student, parents, and the university. Well, talking about compromise, it's between, primarily, it's between me and my child, and then whatever, kasi maraming factors, eh, kung ano ba ang mm. nagiging sitwasyon ng anak ko ngayon, right. di ba? Pwede nga mga problem niya, hindi naman sa school, eh. Di ba? Pwede yung ibang peer niya sa uh, other communities, di ba? So, primarily, that's the first step. And then, kung meron na siyang nagkaka-problem na siya because of, professors niya, because of peers niya sa school, then that's a time that I'd really go into the university and talk to the um, talk to the school, to guidance counselor, maybe, or to the program, uh, whoever's in charge of the degree program. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I, but I, I like, would, I, go ahead, I, Tess, go ahead. No, I'd like to piggyback on what uh, Mitch said. Um, y- yun yung crucial role ng, um, na unfortunately not schools, um, not all schools can provide, is that you parang some form of career counseling or advisement, yeah. diba? So, yes. parang, y- yun ngayon, very crucial noon kasi when you talk about um, counseling, parang, ay, pag may problema ka lang talaga. But it doesn't necessarily just means something emotional. It can mm-hmm. be as um, decision-making. So, parang, um, uh, it's, it's true that there has to be a partnership among um, the three mm-hmm. stakeholders in that educational process. Um, yes. But, y- yun nga, parang sana, re- sana talaga all many schools can provide that kind of support. And that's one of the that's reasons true. a parent should consider before getting into that school. Diba? Kasi if we're talking about quality education, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng quality education for a parent? Diba? Mm-hmm. So for me as a parent, of course, diba, Tess being, and Jeff being academicians, alam naman natin kung paano ba nakakwalify ang isang quality education. Diba? It could be like the full of professors, accreditations niya, research, ganyan, research works. Diba? Yeah. Pero syempre, hindi naman lahat ng parents would know about it. Yes, diba? yeah. So kung ako as a parent, talagang mag investigate ako sa school na yan. Kasi mag invest ako ng pera dyan. Whether we say, ganito lang ang amount na babayaran ko or malaki ang babayaran ko, I would really mm-hmm. investigate. And that part, of the service of the school, which is like counseling for students, I will really take that into consideration if I were a parent. No, that's true. And I I, I, I agree with the, the thing that Mitch and Tess said. One thing, though, that I will have to caution parents, though, is coming in too much within the academics. And mm. I think you'll agree with me here, oh, Mitch yeah. and Tess. Parents should, also, should all be involved, but should let their children fight their own battles. Yes. You only yes. step That's in right. when it's too much for your kids. Yes, yes. The problem, mm-hmm. with, the problem with parents now is they're so quick to rescue. Diba? Mm-hmm. Yes. So, you know, yes. they don't, the kids don't, don't um, develop grit. Diba? They don't develop perseverance. Right. They yes. don't develop independence. Yeah. Which is needed in the workplace. Ang pinaka-requirement mm-hmm. in the workplace is grit. Yung kaya mong lumaban, even kahit wala ka ng kakampi. The challenge mm-hmm. that we have here is that it should be involved. But the parents should be involved only up to a certain point and let their kids fight their own battles. Yes. Exactly. If, That's if, right. they de- if they decided in the specific course that they are that they are in. Mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. I think that's very important for the parents that are listening to know mm-hmm. that the, let us not raise, hindi, wag tayong magpalaki ng mga spoiled brats and mga entitled children. Mm-hmm. No, kasi tayo din naman yung mga problema in the future. Mitch, mm-hmm. Mitch, you know this, in, in, the, in the corporate world, ang isa sa mga pinakamalalaki naming challenges is that the millennials are may pag-entitlement, uh, may sense of oh, yeah. entitlement. That's true. Uh, that's that's true. what they say, really. Uh, uh, overly entitled. May sense of entitlement talaga. So, sobrang overly entitled. Yeah. And it starts actually in the academe because mm-hmm. the parents, I'm happy that the parents are involved, mm-hmm. but for the parents that are listening to the webinar, you only in, I would suggest that you only involve yourself up to a certain point and let your kids fight their own battles. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Exactly. Yep. 
kasi kasi that does not develop the grit that they need if, to survive the course that they chose and then their future career. Yes, Mitch. If I may just add to that, Jeff, because I've been um, doing this survey with HR experts in the field, and they say for every um, applicant, what they are looking for number one would be the attitude of the child. Uh, I mean, of the applicant. And I just encountered this VUCA. Um, if you're familiar with that VUCA, it's B-U-C-A. Every student, ah, yes, yes. every child, or every applicant, we must be able to help them develop this that they should be able to um, address, for example, to be adaptable to this kind of environment. V stands for Correct, volatile, yes. uncertain, complex, and a aggressive. So, mm -hmm. tama ka when you said na tama nga naman dapat we have to um, draw the line between, you know, um, para mabawasan na pagiging overly entitled ng mga bata. But we have to make sure mm -hmm. na as a parent, uh, control them, ba? And allow our kids wow. to make mm -hmm. decisions for themselves and fight the battle. And mm -hmm. with that, they should be, we, they, they eventually would have that kind of attitude that they'd be able to be ready for that kind of environment. Otherwise, wala silang pupuntahan. Mm -hmm. Diba? And that's true kasi parang to me, if you are able to survive any challenge in the course that you uh -oh. are in, it, it it gives you that boost of ego na kaya ko naman pala. Mm -hmm. That makes you future Hindi ready. Hindi ko naman pala siya dapat iyakanin. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That makes you a future ready uh -oh. candidate. Mm -hmm. That's true. How about yung last one? Ito ideal. Ito yung gusto natin. Eh. Children should have a final say. Pero Tess... Anong klaseng bata ba ang dapat may final say? Kasi alam natin na hindi naman din lahat ng bata yeah. are of sound mind and decision para gumawa ng mga ganito kabigat na decision. So, kailan to dapat? Meron ba dapat na, pag ang anak ko ganito o sige, siyang mag-final say? Um, feeling ko if the son is generally um, compared to perhaps his peers, more level-headed, more mature, doing well in the academics, knows what he wants, independent, then I think you can allow him to have a final say. But um, for the, pero I, I, pero the, there are not a lot of those kinds of students. So I think at the very least, the parents should continue to guide. And then eventually, of course, the son will have the final say. Pero dun sa ano kasi dito statement na children should have the final say, the word should makes it sound really that there's a struggle uh -huh. between the parent and the, the son, eh. Feeling ko, kailangan pa rin. Alam mo, Jeff, dyan papasok ang creativity ng isang parent, di ba? On how you're going to throw questions mm -hmm. and how you're going to allow your children decide. Kasi, mm -hmm. papasok pa rin dyan yung yung mga lengua na, okay, this is what I really want for you, but syempre, um, I am your parent. I'd like to respect your decision. What is your say on this one? Mm -hmm. Diba? Let them mm -hmm. say a yes or a no. Let it come from them. Yeah. So, kung ano man siya, nasang stage man siya, kasi it doesn't really matter kung anong age niyan eh. Anong age ng bata o kung anong nasa level siya sa college eh. Diba? Dapat bata pa nga lang. Tama si Jet. Senior high school pa lang eh. They're able to make their own decisions. They're able to think critically na already. So, if children should have the final say, the parents can just guide them. And then mm -hmm. throw them the question, so are you going to push through with this? Because I've given you the pros and the cons of this decision, you decide. You yeah, mm, that's say. true. And I think, the parents, uh, mm, I think the parents should act like the bad cop in this kind of conversation. Okay, mm -hmm. itong choice mo. Ano pag nangyari to sa'yo? Mm -hmm. This is what's going to happen. Anong gagawin mo? Mm -hmm. I think it would be good if the parent mm -hmm. acts, as the, acts as the bad cop. Just, mm -hmm. to, just to show the kids mm -hmm. that these are the things that may happen. Mm -mm. And it and may help enlighten the kids' mind. Yes, Tess? Right. No, um, um, similar to what Mitch said, uh, among uh, working with um, teenagers, especially among boys, um, it's really, for them, what's very important is that they have ownership and they have voice. They have a voice mm -hmm. in, in the decision-making. So, you, know, you have to strategize and be creative. And you have to keep in mind now, for these people, for my plan to work, for you to be able to convince them or guide them more effectively, you have to be able to hear them out. It's very crucial, voice and ownership. And at the same time, I would like to think also that it's very important for the parent to know the kind of son he has. Because different students, different, you know, they have different contexts and they have different needs. So, um, 
ideally in a, for for the situation to be ideal um kailangan talaga alam ng magulang kung anong kla- kung what will work w- best with their sons or with their children pwede pwede it's, it's something na kailangan na iintindihan ng bata kasi i think one thing that i think parents who need to understand coming from us educators kasi nakikita natin yung mga bata not in the presence of the parents so partly there is some truth to what we see is that when kids are not given the chance to make their decisions ano sila um doon nagsisimula yung gulo mm. kasi hindi nila gusto Mm-mm. yung pag hindi mo sila pinakinggan especially the mm-hmm. kids right na turo ng mga ten test mm-hmm. um pag sinabi pag uusapan kasi sinabi na ng magulang pero right now kasi and i agree with what you say the millennials right now you need to give them a voice because if you don't give them that voice it will manifest in other things it can be school work it can be relationships and what not yes. so that's mm-hmm. it for the parents let's now go to okay namili na ako akala ko okay na siya Pag-usapan naman natin ngayon okay. yung, okay, namili na ako, sa simula, okay siya, pero eventually, parang mali. So the question is, how do we now know if we're not in the right course or in the ra- right track? So isa-isahin natin yung mga, yung mga signs, no? Isa, isa sa mga present na signs, pag tinanong ka, hindi mo maipaliwanag bakit yan yung course mo. Bakit yan yung course mo? Eh, ano eh? Hindi <laughs> niya malaman kung bakit nga ba. <laughs> Bakit nga ba, bakit ka nga ba pumasok? Walang rason why you wake up every day and take Uh-oh. that course. And actually, all of this, I think you, you two will agree with me, all of this will ap- I'll apply even hanggang sa nagtatrabaho ka. Ito yung mga signs na dapat ka nang mag-resign. <laughs> diba? <laughs> hindi mo maintindihan, hindi mo paliwanag, ba't yan yung trabaho mo? Um, second is, if you're not excited about the work that needs to be done. Third mm. is, if you're too stressed. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Totoo ba ito, Tess? Yung exci- kailangan ba? Pag hindi ka na excited, pag masyado ka ng stressed, obviously, ayaw mo, hindi, wala ka na sa tamang course mo? Or is it just because of the way that, that well, the millennials now manage um, stress? That's also possible. Eh? That's also possible. I, it's so hard to tell now because sometimes they can easily give up. They tend, I, I don't know, I don't want to judge them, but sometimes there seems to be that pattern that they give up easily. Parang ayoko na to, lilipat na ako na trabaho. Ganon din eh. That's what we noticed also. So I'm well, not sure, but it's possible. Maraming factors eh. Mm-hmm. Maraming mm-hmm. factors on why a child would feel that way or a student would feel that way. Yeah, no, no. Um, kasi, go ahead, go ahead. So, pwede kasing I'm not excited about the work that needs to be done for a particular course. Maybe because hindi interesting ang teacher ko. Right. Maybe because ay, kaklasi ko yung mga ayokong classmates. Pwede mm-hmm. factor kasi yun eh. Not necessarily I am in the wrong right, program. Right, of course. Okay. Pwede factors din kasi I don't feel like doing anything because I have this problem. So pwede mm-hmm. rin how they deal with stress, right? So right. consequently, ang mangyayari dyan, pwede bumagsak siya sa grades. Pwede uh, makaroon ng effect yun sa mga uh, coursework niya. So mm-hmm. not necessarily you being in the incorrect program eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Marami so, factors. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. that's true. That's true. Kasulat din dito, you hate all your professors or teachers. Mm. May, may factor ba na parang lahat na lang ng prof mo isinusumpa mo, <laughs> lahat na lang ng teacher mo wala nang ginawang tama. Siguro ng bubong, because tumulay na sa alambre, mga ganun. Not because I'm in the right, I'm not in the correct program. Dahil oh, para, siguro kasi isang, dahil, isang dahil teacher lang yung kinaiinisan ko, dinamay ko na lahat ng program ko. Pero well, it, could be, well. it could be a factor, di ba? E favorite ko si Sir Jeff. Oh, di ba? Hmm. So, it keeps me going. So, di ba? Depende pa rin yan. Pero it could be a factor also. Why do you hate them? Kasi parang mm-hmm. you just see and yeah. them. You don't learn right. anything because the teacher just comes once in a semester. Hindi right, ba? Tapos right. bagsak pa ako. Ito ba bibigay niyang grade sa akin? Parang I don't deserve it. Hindi but, ba? So, right. Sorry, Tess. Yeah. No, if the, but if the teachers are good and then you don't like anything, alam mo yon. that's probably already a symptom na you're not in the right course yes, or there's yes. something wrong somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Kung, wala, kung wala kang rason para uh-huh. isumpa lahat na teacher uh-huh. ko. 
Pero if the kid is having a problem, there are some tests naman that they can take mm, it, that is being offered in the school. There are some mm. assessment like interest, aptitude test that they yeah. can still retake. Even if they mm-hmm. took it the first time, take it again. Baka kasi eventually, maraming factors na mag affect on why you are changing, ano eh. Changing yeah, oh. it changes kasi eh. Correct. It changes, nag-change yung interest eh. Mm-hmm. You constantly need help. Yan. Ito, ito. You took it because you thought it was going to be easy. Ito, yan eh. Marami pong gusto ko. Yes, nato. Yeah. Ma, ganyan. Ay, nako, ako yan eh. <laughs> Parang kasama din ako dyan. <laughs> Ayo, ganyan. Kaya ako ni Edo kasi walang mat. I, I, I took mat 22 kasi I took mat 11 twice. <laughs> <laughs> ako ang, tanda ko ang mat ko lang yata, algebra, tsaka ano, educational statistics. Tatandaan mo yung test, yung paggawa ng ano, yung paggawa ng yung transmutation table, yung mga ganun-ganun, yung mga ganyan. Yun yung mga challenge. The child must understand that nothing comes easy, di ba? So, yun. Pero pwede yung, ano yan, pwede rin yung isang reason. It's a strategy. But, pwede. I mean, initially, it's a strategy. Ah, no, we're talking about a reason na, ano, ano, na it's not going to be, akala lang niya. Kasi initially, initially, some of them would use that as a strategy to get in and to get to a course. But again, sometimes it's not enough to sustain you. Oo, kasi hihirap at hihirap naman to a certain point. Tsaka dito pumapasok, I think, yung reasoning na, marami na ako narinig na ganitong reasoning na, o sige, papasok ako dito sa course na to kasi madaling makapasok. Tapos pag nakapasok na ako sa university, at saka ako mag-shift ng course na gusto ko. Which is to me, you're starting at the wrong foot. Exactly. Mali ka you na pasok mo. If I may just um, share this with you, I have transferees mm-hmm. from engineering to tourism. And they mm-hmm. thought, from engineering kasi you're filled with mathematics, you're so filled with numbers. Mm-hmm. The math yeah. at the end level. And mm-hmm. they thought, when they get into tourism, wala rin silang numbers. Mm-hmm. Akala nila yun. Exact. Uh-oh. Akala nila yun. Uh-oh. Kasi they also do business plan, they also have staff, mm-hmm. they have research, mm-hmm. diba? That they really have to deal with numbers also. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan talaga malinaw sa'yo kung bakit ka papasok. And then the Correct. last part is, you can't see it helping you in the future. Kaya ito, pag ito yung rason mo, magtatanong talaga ako, kasi bakit mo pala pinasok? Mm-hmm. Kasi hindi mo, hindi mo pala siya nakikitang helpful in the future eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No? Pero kasi, paano ba dapat, ikaw Mitch, kasi you're in placement and what not, mm-hmm. and then says as well, paano ba dapat tignan ng isang bata yung future niya in a course? Kailangan ba niya tignan na ilang trabaho ang mabibigay nito sa akin? Ilang ilang posisyon ba nito mabibigay nito sa akin? Kailangan ba tignan nila to in a very linear form? Or they should look at it as a, like for example, test remember nung unang nag-launch ang Binild. Mm, yeah. In peace, diba? Nung nag-launch ang yeah. Binild, I think college students pa lang yata tayo nun or pag-graduate mm. tayo ng college. Nung nag-launch ang Binild, ang gaganda ng pangalan ng mga course ng Binild. Bachelor of mm. Science in Keme, Chuk Chuk Chen, mm. isang kawa. Mm. Mm-hmm. Pero wala pang trabaho para doon. <laughs> Oo. Pero... So, paano ba dapat niche yung tingin ng bata for a course? Dapat ba tingnan niya uh, in a sense na ano yung mabibigay niya sa aking trabaho in the future? Or tingnan niya siya as opportunities, or maybe opening opportunities for me for this course? Not necessarily may trabaho na, but I can, you know, maybe pick ano, my own track. In, in the school, kasi nowadays, we just teach them and prepare them not to become employees but to become employers mm-hmm. in the near future. So, siguro mm-hmm. yung availability of jobs in the coming years or, in the, or after they graduated, siguro secondary na lang yon. The mm-hmm. first reason is that, how will I be able to contribute using my skills and using the talent that I have that I was able to enhance with this particular course that I am taking? Mm-hmm. Kasi, mm-hmm. Um, May mga bata talaga, they are, they are born to become entrepreneurs and meron din namang mga batang, mm-hmm. they can become entrepreneur only that if they were given enough skills and they were given enough training. Mm-hmm. So, if pag ambasihan lang natin is availability of jobs in the future, let us mind all, remind all our students, based from the HR um, interviews that I had, 
we have to be ready for jobs that are not even available yeah, at this correct. time. Correct. Like digital marketing. Hirap na hirap mm-hmm. daw silang maghanap ngayon ng mga bata na magpipit for that. Because digital marketing is just like, what? Mga ilang years pa lang ba yan na nagiging uso ngayon? Social media manager. Nung panahon natin, di ba? Parang wala pa namang Facebook, walang Google. So at that time, what were the famous degree programs? The famous degree pro- programs were like engineering, accounting. Never or little did we know na magkakaroon ng mga social media manager magkakaroon ng mga mm-hmm. digital marketers. So, right. if we're just gonna base it on the available jobs na alam natin sa ngayon na magkakaroon, I think mm-hmm. it's not that gonna work because ang una munang iisipin, what can I do to contribute using the skills and the things that I know based from the degree where I was trained? Di ba? Mm-hmm. So, for, for me, that's a How about you, Yeah. How about you, Tess? For senior high school students. Kasi, if you finish naman kasi, like for example, you finished a STEM track, hindi naman ibig sabihin, STEM lang ang pwede mong pasukin sa college. Your mind right. can change. Pero right. paano dapat right. yung thinking ng isang senior high school kid kapag pinili niya yung isang course? Para hindi, kasi mas long term yung magiging epekto sa isang senior high school student eh. Right. Compl- com- compared to a college student. Right. Kasi for senior high school, which is college preparatory, of course, when they choose a particular strand, they have to keep in mind what course it is that they want to pursue in college. Mm. So, medyo naka-streamline na siya doon. But for me personally, ako kasi I like the gas or the general academic strand because it it's very exploratory in the sense that you um you can special you don't have to specialize in just one you can um it's it's more open ended it's more flexible you have a, want to have a taste of business and management you have you want to have a taste of science it's okay so um uh you you ngayon syempre when they choose a strand they have to they're in a more practical mode in a sense that it has to be aligned to what i want to pursue in college but if I'm going to talk about college itself, like what Mitch was saying, I think um, what needs to be emphasized as well, kasi nga parang yun, yung mga courses, kung iisipin mo lang kung ano yung popular ngayon na course, di ba? Mm-hmm. Parang yeah. hindi, the world keeps changing eh. The world keeps changing. So we can actually um, emphasize on invest on the more transdisciplinary skills like creativity, collaborative skills, Correct. innovation, Correct. na kahit anong ipasok mo field, you will be able to use them. Right. Right. Actually, um, the focus right now should be of, of academe should be future skills such yes. as data sciences, design yeah. thinking. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. Yes. Kasi, um, in the future, kung ano yung uso ngayon, definitely, in a year's time, hindi na siya uso. Right. I mean, ako, I think I'm a perfect example of that. Graduate ako, 90s, wala namang naturo kung paano ang e-learning, paano right. mag mm-hmm. digital right. marketing. It keeps on evolving, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I had to learn all of this outside of the, of the school, no? As I were. And I think it's something that the students that are listening right now need to understand. You don't get the course, but you get the skills that are attached to the course. Right. Kasi at the end of the day, pag nag-apply kayo, ang ibebenta niyo naman is the skill, eh. It's not the mm. course. Mm-hmm. Dapat, hindi na, dapat hindi na linear yung thinking natin when it comes to ner, ner, graduate ako ng nursing, nurse lang ang pwede kong right. trabahuin. So kung baga parang you don't just focus on the subject specific skills yeah. or content, parang mm-hmm. the more encompassing ones also matter. Correct. Yes, and, you focus on the skills. Yeah. And if I may just add, Jeff, you know what they ask now from HR? Mm-hmm. They, check, mm-hmm. they don't ask yeah. any more the beauty pageant questions like the what are your strengths yes, and weaknesses. True. In recruitment, they ask now behavioral questions. Like oh, they would ask that's true. what projects were you able to handle? How did Correct. you finish your thesis? Correct. What were your involvement in this particular project? What did oh. you do to overcome these challenges yes. you encountered? Yes. Yun yung nga dapat na paghandaan nila. Kasi we have to teach them lifelong learning right. skills. Correct. So we yeah. need to teach them also how to think critically, mm-hmm. how to communicate effectively, and how they are able to make use of the technologies nowadays in order for them to make uh, a decision. Right, so like how right. to use Excel in order for them to uh, manage a certain business or to, man- mm-hmm. or, or to make a decision, how to use Word, how to use PowerPoint in order for them to be able to make a good presentation. Right. Diba? So those are the things that I, w- I hope every student would be able to have diba? Right. so that in the future they will be ready for whatever the world oh. has to offer them. Oh, kasi, uh, you cannot blame talaga a course for your lack of jobs. 
Mm-mm. No? Mm-mm. I'm sorry, pero you yeah. can, right now you cannot say, kasi nursing yung kinuha ko eh, walang masyadong nurse ngayon. Demand. I'm sorry, yes. I will tell this to the students that are listening right now because I'm a, I'm a digital entrepreneur. Ang walang trabaho lang talaga ngayon, dalawang tao lang. Yung wala kang resources talaga, meaning wala kang mm-hmm. pera to buy the mm-hmm. set, at wala kang internet. And the second reason lang natatanggap na, na, na pwede kung bakit wala kang trabaho is tamad ka. Um, always yes. something to do. Yeah, there's I a agree, budget. I agree. Especially there's with the internet, you can sell do. online, you can... That's diba true. Eh? And, and the students boss, starts with the students right now because in our previous webinars, yung first webinar ko on uh, on doing the job or navigating the job market, ang sabi ng isang panelist namin, it's a sin. Kasalanan na siya ngayon kung meron ka pang hindi alam. Because everything uh-huh. can be searched on the net. Right. And Jeff, if I may no? just share, my boss hmm. previously told me, Mitch, you will never run out of money if you are just creative and if you are just resourceful. Diba? So, going with, uh, with what you said yeah. earlier. Yeah. yeah. And, and kids can play hours of Dota. Why can't they? You can play hours of Dota. So there are things that you can do on the net. Okay. Now, the next slide would then be the first the next slide is uh, what then should they do ating sinabi and, and before we go to the to do ikaw te sayo ano yung number one reason for you na pag na, nakita ng estudyante they should consider changing their course sayo i mean not not those on the list Ako, basta if they, um, despite their effort, meaning they really studied, they really tried to like the subject, but they're still not doing well, um, and they already have the support of everyone, their parents, their teachers, then perhaps it's not the course for them. That's one of the things. How about you, Mitch? Ano yung, sa'yo yung pinaka-telltale reason? Kung Why? na mali yung course na para sa kanila. Um, para nabanggit ko na yung kanina eh, but I suggest these kids muna undergo assessment. Pangatlo, ay pangalawa, if they're really too stressed, kasi if they're too stressed, then ang consequence nun, they might not be effective when it comes to classroom eh. So, mm-hmm. ang tendency niya, and failing grades, right? So, if, they, mm-hmm. if they're not happy, their grades are fa- failing already, I think mm-hmm. they really need to consider also shifting to another yeah. course if that's not really for them and if it's not their personality. Mm-hmm. For example, I took up yeah. accountancy. Eh, I'm not really into numbers pala. What I really want to do is I'm a people person and I'm sociable. I really want to get out and I would like to be talking a lot, diba? So, they mm-hmm. have to do some personal assessments, then yeah. seek help from guidance and counseling, do an assessment by a professional, and then pangatlo, talk to their parents mm-hmm. about it if they're really having problems. Because though they make their own decisions, they also have to listen to other people who know better than them, who's experienced than them, wow. before they can come up with the right and and I would caution students also from using, and I think you'll agree with me, Tess and Mitch, I would caution students from using the I'm not happy card. Mm. Yung, Ay, hindi na ako masaya. Because to me, that's an easy excuse. Yes. Na hindi ka na yeah. masaya. Yes, yes. Ako, yeah. I would always yeah. say, look at your performance. If you've, gave, if you've given everything, pero hindi pa din at par yung performance, then it says Tama. na hindi ka na para doon. Right. Kasi happiness yeah. is a very easy excuse. Correct. Natakadaling yeah. sabihin na, ay hindi na ako masaya eh. So yun yung gagawin mo, yeah. excuse sa, sa buong buhay mo na hindi ka na masaya. Dapat Pag hindi may ka masaya, effort. alis ka na. <laughs> Dapat may effort muna from the student's part. Correct. Diba? They try their mm-hmm. best. Before ka. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hindi po pwede yung and ayaw would, mo na lang kasi hindi ka na masaya. Mm-hmm. I would always tell my students to talk to their professors as well. Kasi minsan nagiging factor din kasi professors talaga mainly eh. Diba? Mm-hmm. They don't have good relationship with their professors. Kaya siya si ganito si prof, ganito si ganyan. Yung parang hindi sila, there's no communication between them. Eh. So, okay. Mm-hmm. So, let's go now to what to do. Let's say, okay, na-finalize mo na, na hindi talaga to yung para sa'yo. Ano yung mga dapat mong gawin? Una, we suggest that you talk to friends and family kasi baka kailangan mo lang ng, you know, to Pausap. see things in a new perspective. <laughs> no, ma- yes, a, a, new yes. view, a new view of things, right, Tess? Yes, definitely. Sometimes they, ano, ayun nga, they see, you, exactly, parang uh, fresh ideas, see things from a different perspective will always 
um, help. Kasi minsan, if you're too stressed na rin, you can only, very, ano, very limited na yung thinking mo, very narrow na yung nakikita mo. Mm-hmm. Tsaka true yan, events na nagtatrabaho eh. Um, sabi, ko, sabi ko nga, if you can't, if you cannot love your job, change the way you feel about it. Mm-hmm. Pag hindi mo talaga mabago yung pakiramdam mo about the job, then it's time for you to leave. Yung kahit anong gawin mo, yeah. kahit yeah. anong... Mm-hmm. Uh, mo, binago mo na, pininit mo na talaga kahit anong gawin ka, suklam-suklam pa rin sa'yo yung trabaho uh-huh. mo, then that would mean that it's not for you. Mm-hmm. No, I think it's very important that you talk to people from a different perspective. Yes. I think Mitch, yes. mentor, mentoring is something that's very important for students. No, They should exactly. find a mentor. Right. Because a, a lot of people, even for professionals, a lot of people don't have mentors. I, I myself, I have a mentor. A mentor can be your previous boss. There uh, are advisors. Pro- professors. Naman, yes, there are advisors mm-hmm. naman given in a school. For example, um, if you're a freshman, bago ka, then there's uh, an advisor assigned to you. So in case you've got problems, mm-hmm. you've got, uh, you want someone to talk to, then there's an assigned professor. Hopefully, naman every school has this also. So, ito yeah, na rin but sometimes even that. Hmm. Yeah, but sometimes even the advisor doesn't. Wala kasi yung tiwala. Eh. Yeah. You find the mentor that you trust. Yun, 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 yeah. To me, yeah. that's the number yeah. one it, important thing. It could thing. even be outside you, school, di ba? Oh, you find a person that you can trust, that mm-hmm. you know has the right experience. Right. Find that mentor. Ako, even at this age, I still have a mentor na when, yeah, ito, when I launched my company, when I do this, mm-hmm. when I do that, I always consult my mentor na yeah, it could what would happen. Tama, diba? It could be a oh, relative. It could be a relative, Lita, a professor. Dito. Yes, boss. yes. Ninong, ganyan. Yeah. As long as you trust, I think yung pinaka-importante is you trust the person. You trust, you trust and respect the that person, right? Uh, and experience that the person brings. Uh-huh. Ito, Mitch, do you, do you suggest, ito, suggest na natin na isa is to take a break. Kailangan, Ay, would yes. you suggest this? Yes, kasi ka, sabi mo, sa trabaho din, we need that, di ba? To be in hiatus for so, on, on something, para lang, di ba? Kasi if you feel too stressed, masyado ka ng puno, then you take a break. Even in, um, if, not necessarily being absent from class, but maybe just to um, get out a few minutes or a few hours, hindi lang yun ang isipin mo. And just to keep that balance sa sarili mo, you, um, you take a break. Not too long. Yeah. <laughs> Break lang. Yeah. You can be stressed. <laughs> cool. uh-uh. Maybe you talk. Uh, not too long. Not not for long because you're gonna miss a lot. I always tell my students, okay, if you're gonna be sad, if you feel like you're lonely, you just have to give that a time frame. You have to have a time limit. Okay? You can cry for a day, but make sure that tomorrow you'll be fine. Oh, so you can you can you can't cry naman forever. Eh? You can't feel right. sad forever. If it's too long, it can also break your momentum. Eh. So, um, syempre, you don't want that. But really, recharging, distressing oh. always helps. Yeah. Whether you're at work, you're studying, di ba? Oh, kasi I think the parents also sometimes forget that uh, ang, ang, ang school is also stressful. It's very stressful for the kid. Mm. Lalo na daw ngayon. Sab- yeah, well, that's a feedback. Correct. Parang sobrang na ngayon na tayo, na tayo na yung mga teacher. <laughs> yes, that's why, that's why sa school, di ba may mga orgs that they can join? Ako, yeah. I would suggest my students, kung ano mga hilig nyo, if you feel like uh, you're good in singing, you join this choral. If you feel like you're good in athletics, mag-join ka nito. You're good in chess, join this organization. Para hindi ka lang puro mm-hmm. academics, di ba? Correct, correct, oh, correct. Find time to yeah. sing uh, with this org. Yeah. Find time to dance that's, with this company. Right. That's what I also uh, always I tell, not the students, uh, but the teachers, you have to find a hobby because otherwise you're going to get burnt out. That's why, Jeff, we have... Like Tess, her entire family is with us. And Tess, Jean, me, we're not young. Yeah. <laughs> if you see us do what we, if you see us do what we have to do... You can do it, promise. <laughs> <laughs> Kung nagagawa namin, kaya mo. Yes, yes. Uh, I'll take a ito. break. <laughs> yes. Yes. Courses. But make sure this time that you're decided, right, as this is costly. Itong third na to, um, should also parents consider other modes of learning aside from college? Let's say tech voc or uh, online learning. 
in this kind of culture that we are that we have right now kasi merong bata na meron kasi kung mga bata na mas nag-succeed sa tech work kasi hindi sila pang college mm-hmm. and for all we know mm-hmm. ang laki ang laki ng need and payouts for tech work especially outside of the country ang mga well mm-hmm. there magkakano ang bayad in other countries so yes, should parents yes. also consider should parents also consider other modes of learning aside from college aside from being linear kung talagang hindi para doon yung bata they can. I think they should yeah mm-hmm. Kasi this is the purpose of, at least for senior high school, this is the purpose of senior high school na parang the only, the, the, there are a lot of pathways to a good future, to a good career. Um, uh, For example, senior school is known to be a college preparatory school. So uh, 100% usually go to college. But like last year, there was one student who said, and he's a struggling student, na parang ayoko na mag-college chur kasi um, ano talaga, pagod na ako mag-aral and I'm really not for academics. And he wants to pursue a uh, two-year culinary arts course. So parang kung ganun, okay rin lang naman eh. But again, it would depend, I guess, of from family to family, from student to student, and parent to parent. Uh, that's true. That's true. Jeff, Depending consider, niyan talaga. Mm-mm, that's right. Kasi consider also other yes, famous, yes. Um, not really celebrity, but look at uh, Mark Zuckerberg, di ba? On Facebook, di naman. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't yeah. want to give our students a wrong signal naman na you shouldn't be finished a degree kasi nga Mark Zuckerberg kasi everybody has different faith. Yeah. Diba? So yeah. it really depends kung ano, yun nga, compromise, kung ano ba talaga ang kaya ng bata. Kung mm-hmm. nagawa niya ng best effort niya pero feeling niya hindi talaga siya doon, that's good. That's mm-hmm. the time to consider yeah. also the other option. Yeah. And I think the parents should also open their minds to the other forms, to the other paths of career success. Mm-hmm na kasi there admittedly alam natin tong tatlo may mga bata talaga na hindi pang academics kahit anong gawin natin hindi talaga sila pang academics they could be athletics eh. diba yes, yes. yes. Oh. for sports oh. so, basketball pala bata, talaga ang gusto niya oh, tsaka may mga bata na kinesthetic eh mm. I mean yes. kasi, kasi, siguro, I, kasi siguro kasi as a society uh, forgive me for the term pero as a society kasi we look down on blue collar jobs Well, then, yes. yeah. Mananay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Ang isa pa dyan, Jeff, yung we look down, yun yung sa mga farmers, diba? Agriculture. Oh, oh. Eh, ngayon, Agriculture. Oh, that's oh, the actually. end thing now. Yeah. Diba? Organic yeah. farming. Yes, agriculture. Yeah. Correct. Agriculture and agricultural science. Right. Uh, napakalaking gap And niya ngayon. Ang lupin opportunity yeah, ngayon. We look down on certain career paths because it's not the traditional path that we know which yeah. is college. I think if there are parents that are would are listening and will listen to the webinar, you should also have to open your mind to the other paths that are out there na hindi naman ibig sabihin welder yung anak mo, welder lang. Padala nyo kayo. Pipinsan ako, welder sa Canada, natangay na lahat ng buong pamilya, pamilya. na doon. Sipisin, may bahay pa. So, oh, welder okay. lang yun, ha? Correct. 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 It's because people in other countries don't want to do the things that the Filipinos do. And that's an that entrepreneurial mindset. Mm-hmm. Yun, yung yeah. entrepren- yun yung design thinking eh. Yun yung design thinking. Mm-hmm. Entrepreneurial mindset yun eh. Ayaw nilang gawin. Yeah. E di pasukin mo kasi may need. Right. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I think it's very important that the parents also consider um, the the other the pathways. Right. right. Uh, to I agree. Wag yeah. tayo masyadong linear kasi the world now is not linear. I mean, hindi mm-hmm. lang ito ang pwedeng gawin ng mga bata. Uh-uh. That was a very fruitful discussion, but let's answer some questions. Mabel, are you there? Can you uh, give us the questions that you have coming from some of the audience that we have? Yes. And the first question here, tinatanong po sana kung mas maganda nga pa, in choosing a career or in choosing a course, mas maganda nga po ba ang mga more flexible na courses or yung more specialized na course? Yung tipong madami Mitch. options or isa lang? Or uh, for... For me, depende pa rin yan sa student, eh, kung ano talaga ang preference niya. Kasi tayo, we're used to, mm-hmm. let's say, a specialized course. Parang pag, if you choose naman kasi specialized course, iba, we're talking about yung mga fields like you're going into masters. Did I get your question correctly? Because you said specialized course as against what? What was it against? Siguro ito, Mitch, yung parang, ito, Mitch, yung, yung, uh, ito, Mitch, yung parang, mm, sa mga menu sa, yung mga menu uh-huh. sa tinda, sa restaurant, di ba, ano sabi ng mga magulang students, natin? Eh. It really depends on the student. Mm-mm. Pagka ang putahe, madaling sabihin, mura. Pagka mahirap, uh-huh. sabihin, mahal, wag mong bilhin. Ganun? So, It's parang siguro, parang ganun, pagka, 
marahaba yung pangalan ng course. <laughs> Mahal. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> It really depends kung anong interest ng bata. Kung kaya naman ng family, Correct. kung kaya niyang bayarin yan, then go oh. ahead. If it's really my yeah. interest, I will go for it. Whether ganito pang yeah. amount yan, in dollars yan, but if I can afford it, and even if I can't afford it, I'll find my way to get into that. Paano? Through scholarships, or maybe I can be a working student. Oh, dami. Know I like that. Ang dami. Kasi pag gusto talaga ng bata, gagawa at gagawa ng paraan niya. Paraan. 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 Successful. Right, right. Hindi nang papayag na kinuha mo tong oh. course para lang maging failure. If a kid yes. likes the course, that's one thing I can assure. Mm. If the kids like it really is passionate for a course or attracting mm-hmm. senior high school, they will yes. not allow themselves to become failures. Right. I agree. Pinaka, I agree. Yun yung mababouch ko naman para sa mga bata ngayon. Right. Next question, Mabel? Yeah, second question. Because po of the senior high school, would you say that there will still be um, like a need or it would still be better para mag-pursue ng further education yung students after senior high? Or yes. it would suffice? Yes. Um, it depends nga kasi parang what, what do you want to do with your life and what career do you, how do you see yourself years from now? This game is giving us why it's put there because what the government is also saying, um, pwede kang hindi na mag-college depending on your skills and depending on what you want. So, kung gusto mo talagang mag-work na, and also for some because of practical reasons, um, you can pursue college, then you can actually go for Voc Tech. And if you want to pursue sports, then you can pursue sports. But um, I can't answer that because it you have to really examine yourself and see what it is that you want. Yon. So, uh, pwede ka na hindi mag-college, pero depende kung ano kasi gusto mong i-pursue. Uh, ito kasi yung pinaka-challenge, I think, Mitch and Tres, sa mga estudyante natin ngayon is they don't know how to take stock of their personal characteristics and skills. Uh-huh. Hindi nila alam kung paano alamin kung saan sila magaling eh. Uh, in, 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 short, in a short explanation, Mitch, paano mo paano, paman kung saan ka talaga? Paano mo malalaman kung ano yung passion mo? Paano mo malalaman kung saan ka magaling? How, how do the students do that? Kasi ako personally, if a student would, um, malalaman nila yan personally. Kasi I don't, uh, I don't believe na hindi nila alam kung ano yung mga hilig nila. Kasi kung sino man ang nakakaalam noon, personally, yung may katawan ang makakaalam ko saan sila magaling. Hmm. Like, if my student would be into arts, alam, alam ko yan kung magaling ako sa arts, ba? And if you have a close hmm. relationship being the professor ng sudyante yon malalaman mo kung asaan magaling ang bata to at kung saan pa siya pwede mag-excel. Merong mga bata, kasi ang mga bata, there are different types. May mga bata na pwedeng visual, may mga bata na once they listen to it lang, nagigets na nila. ba? Pero may mga bata naman na talagang kailangan pa nila talaga i-explain, iulit-ulit mo. ba? That's why in schools now, we do a student-centered learning. Kasi nga, yeah. di ba sila na ang hari ngayon ng classroom because the oh, teachers oh, are facilitators. ba? Mm-hmm. So, individually, we have to, we just facilitate and on on their own, they have to find out kung ano ba talaga ang meron sila. Kasi I couldn't, I couldn't speak na, o ikaw, magaling ka dito, dito ka. Diba? Sila dapat ang mag-decide na, ma'am, I feel that I, I think I'm really inclined into arts because I love to do sketching. I'm not really good in numbers, ganyan. But, pag ang bata ay nagsabi na, ma'am, I don't think I'm not good in numbers, but I am willing to learn more about this course, then mm-hmm. go ahead with what you are doing currently. Yeah. Kasi I cannot decide about I couldn't tell. Lalo na kung wala namang relationship ako doon sa bata ngayon. How about you, Tess? How will a child know? Ano yung mapasuggest mo na gawin ng isang bata para malaman niya talaga kung ano yung skills niya? Um, kasi for some schools, diba, they provide that kind of support. Like the teachers, for example, can um, mm-hmm. can give you advice, career counselors. Pero for me, kasi parang kung halimbawa ako, gusto gusto ko talagang gawin yun, mm-hmm. na-excite ako, natutuwa ako, feeling, it gives me confidence or it challenges me. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's one of the things that you can consider. Yes. Yun. If it excites you. Ako, I would suggest for the kids. Oh, for the kids that are listening, ako ang suggestion ko talaga is to really list it down. Isulat ninyo. Isulat, right. Mm-mm, yeah, oh, totoo. Yeah, totoo nyo. Nyo. Kailangan totoo. isulat nyo. Hindi kasi, hindi kasi po pwede yung, ay kasi magaling ako rito, iisipin nyo lang, hindi nyo siya sulat. Kasi kailangan, minsan talaga kailangan makita. Write it down. Kailangan yeah. makita ninyo. 
kung ano talaga. Isulat nyo. Para, para makita nyo malinaw sa inyo. You have to keep a journal, inyo. no? Para may journal sa oh. Jeff. Right. That's why that's why it's very sad that writing is a lost art because writing can help people a lot yung pagsusulat. Mm-hmm. Kaya lang it's a lost art na wala na masyado nang susulat eh. Uh, iba na yung mm-hmm. iba na yung idea ng sulat nila eh. Um mm-hmm. yun. Maybe last question. Yes, related to din sa SHS pa din. Um would you say that the Philippine job market now is ready for senior high school graduates? Kasi yung iba pa natatakot pa din, they still want to pursue college because of that thinking na parang hindi pa ready ang job market. Tess? Uh, um, I think in terms of job market in the Philippines, I um, feeling ready na. Kasi even if there are um, there's unemployment, medyo matas unemployment rate. Marami pa rin hindi filled up na, um, what do you call this, filled up na, yeah, na positions. And um, a lot of them actually, for example, are in the lines of Boktek. And when you're talking about um, job market, actually, I think even the world is ready for our senior high school graduates. Hmm. How about you, Mitch, with your interviews I, in uh, HR? HR? I think they are ready. And they are getting more ready for these students who are going to graduate soon. Because, sa simula pa lang ng high school, you know what they're doing? The industry is what they're doing. They are collaborating with senior high school already. So meaning, if they're doing collaborative works already with senior high school students, they are seeing that these are the future employers that they're going to have. So, gone mm. are the days that I'm just going to give jobs for those who are graduates of this particular degree, but I'm going to open up jobs even for those who finish senior high school. But I think we need to set them the expectations of the students on what jobs they can take in mm. as yeah. a yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, let's yeah. not expect very glitzy, glamorous jobs that will require din talaga a college degree because there are jobs that will require a college degree. Yeah, uh, right now, right. I'm working with a project with the IBPAP, the mm. uh, IT and Business uh, Process Association of the Philippines. Yes. Uh, I'm working with a project with them. And, you know, the bigger companies, although they want to, but some of the requirements really require a college degree. Degree so program, yeah. If, oh, oh, if you want to work after senior high, yes, it is possible. But uh-huh. you have to set your... We, you have to set your expectations na baka naman kasi ang akala, ay, tapos ako na senior high, pwede na ako mag-manager. Uh-huh. Kaya pwede ko. Oo, oo. Super limited. Super limited. Yeah. Super limited. Uh-huh. yeah. Limited. Uh-huh. You can, but sure. it is very limited. Yes, so, yes. Yung, pwede. So, hmm. pwede kayo kung, kung talagang hindi nyo na kayang mag-antay for some reason, you can work after senior high or uh, while you work after senior high, you can take a, two, take a two-year tech vote. Two year, yes. Mm-hmm. Or take an associate degree. Tapos habang nagka-tech vote kayo, magtrabaho kayo, pwede nyo i-diretso yun to, uh, to a college degree. Yeah. Uh, you just have naman, to be informed eh, no? Kasi, uh, like for example, sa tech vote, sa TESDA, there are national certifications, NC and hanggang NC4. So, yung NCs right. na yun actually add more yeah, to, your, uh, to um, the pay, no? Let's say, kanyari, yeah. customer service track, may training track. So, the, the NCs actually add to to your pay. And it's something that you, that work at after senior high, it's something that you may yeah. want to consider. Thank you, Mabel, for the questions. So, before we end, last words from our panelists. Mitch, last words you'd okay. like to leave our audience? Okay, for uh, for parents, I would uh, I would I commend parents who still gives um, uh, give goods uh, who who allows their who invest on their children who invest on the future of their children and gives them good education. Uh, if I may just um, give them um, some sort of advice, I I I just hope that they will always be there to guide their to guide their child in every way that they can, whether it be it financially or emotionally. And for our students, particularly for my students who may be um, listening right now, uh, give credit to your parents who are allowing you and giving you this opportunity to have a good education. So if you feel that you are in the right track or you're in the right course, then go ahead and uh, if possible, finish college with flying colors. Don't allow anything to distract you. And if you feel that you are not in the right track or in the right course, there are people who can help you. Aside from your parents, the school officials or guidance counselors are available to help you out. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, find, go find yourself a mentor who can help you. Be uh, Make sure that you are also with uh, good peers who can help you grow. 
and consider also uh, researching and in, uh, informing yourself, making yourselves aware of what's ahead of you in the future. Because you are not just going to be employers, but there's an, uh, you're not just going to be employees in the near future, but look at yourself on the possibility of being entrepreneurs also. And if you, again, if you will be having problems, there are people who can, you can turn into. Okay? Okay, thanks. Thanks, Mitch. How about you, Cess? Last words for our audience. Okay. Um, I'd like to address this to the senior high school students and parents, so or at least those who are about to enter senior high school, that when you choose what particular strand it is that you would like to pursue, um, it would be good for you to assess what your interests are, what your passions in life are, but at the same time, balance it with what really are your strengths and weaknesses in life. So parang know what your strengths are, what are the things that you think you will do good at, Okay, and, and what are the things that you would like to exert effort, more effort on and learn more about? Because those are the things that will help sustain you as you continue or as you pursue our senior high school. And then for the parents, um, please um, be involved in the career choices of your sons and your daughters. Um, guide them, okay? Um, guide them, help them. And then, of course, you can always seek the support of not only um, your friends, but also the professionals in the school. Get to know more your children. Talk to them. Sit them down. And then, um, that's when you can strike a balance between what you would like for your sons and what your sons would like also for their future. Yeah. Thanks, Tess. Thanks, Mitch. Um, thank you for to our panelists. For our audience, uh, please watch out for our next set of webinars for students. Um, our next webinar will be on uh, around September, the last week of September. It's going to be about how to navigate your relationship with your professors, how to maximize your relationship with your professors para naman hindi nyo isinusumpa yung isa't isa. <laughs> and then, for those that are um, in college or even in senior high, we're also launching our thesis bootcamp. It's going to be four sessions that will help you understand and guide you on how to be successful in every aspect of making of your, of, of making of your thesis. From coming up with your problems, from your RRL up to the actual defense, we will be having four webinar sessions to help you make the most and be successful when you deliver your thesis because it is thesis season. And alam natin, Mitch and Tess, dyan talaga nakaka, dyan nalalaman ko sinong matibay pagdating ng, mm -hmm. <laughs> pagdating, yeah, na, yeah. pagdating ng thesis. Correct. So, Correct. Survival of the thesis. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's something to look forward to um, for the students and for our um, parents and other professionals that may be listening to this webinar. Watch out for our next webinar. Our next webinar is for our Alternative Career Series. We'll be talking about BPO 101. We'll help you understand more the sunshine uh, industry of the Philippines that it's not just an end end job. It's not just a job for agents. So that's going to happen on September 9. And then after that, our next webinar, again, for our alternative career series will be about medical coding. So for those that are medical courses, nursing and all that, and you don't want to do what you graduated in, medical coding might just be the career for you. We're also going to talk about that in your alternative career series. So again, I'd like to thank Mitch Bautista, Director for Placement of the Far Eastern University, and Fes Nebres Ladrido, Assistant Principal for Senior High School of Xavier School San Juan, for joining us this morning. Thank you very much My for pleasure. listening. My name Jeff, is can, I, I know, yes. can I advertise lang if Go ahead. Um, no, because if ever there's anyone interested, we need physics teachers in Savior School. So please apply. Um, just send me a message. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just like this opportunity. Or you can. It's okay. Or you can message me on our Facebook page. Um, that's facebook.com slash take control of your career. Facebook.com slash take control of your career. Yes. You can send your resumes to me, mm -hmm. and I will course you uh, through tests. So again, thank you very okay. much. For sure. Watching. Do you have Thank anything? Thank you. Also, Jeff, you might need my graduates. <laughs> yes, 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 please, please, please. I need. I'll, I'll send you a message. Please. <laughs> please. See, that's what, that's what, that's what we do in Control C. <laughs> Relationship. <laughs> so, ayan. So, pag-uusapan na nila yan after kasi kailangan nilang isa't isa. Again, this is Jeff. Thank you very much yes. for joining us this morning. My pleasure. And this is Control C. Take control of your career. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.